Um, and as Tish said, we come from kind of humble beginnings, and we, it's up and grind, up and grind, and we do that every Talk to us. We have a very aggressive uh, internship program, and Tish and I are big believers in um, kind of paying it forward. I will never forget the fact that I spent 25 years of my life pretty much my head in the textbook. I did it exactly the way they said I should, I should do it, and I couldn't find a job. And a guy out there by the name of John Fusco gave me a chance, and we need to pay that back. And, and I'm serious. Um, there's a young man working tonight. He's working today. He's an intern now. He was at the Night of Mentors. He, he fell in love with the idea that he could be part of this. He's actually working here today. So if you want to be, uh, uh, want an internship during the year, during the summer, talk to Kelly. Kelly will talk to us, and we, we will make sure we have the room on staff. I'll tell you one, one quick story that I think ties it back to the most important aspect of leadership, and there are lots of components to, to being a leader. But a couple of days ago, we had this event, and I have to tell you, it was not only one of the best moments of my career, it was one of the best moments of my life, and that was to be able to sit in the kitchen table of Bob and Linda Aulis, and along with Mayor de Blasio, let this mom and dad know that they're um, that we were going to name one of the new Staten Island Ferries boats in honor of their son. He was a 24-year-old uh, staff sergeant in the U.S. Army, and his base in Afghanistan was attacked. And um, he actually put himself in between a suicide bomber and a Polish soldier and saved his life. <laughs> Madam Barrett President. <laughs> so wait, 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 wait. It's not all wine and roses, as they say. So Madam Barrett President, what's the first thing you're going to do? <laughs> I got potholes. I got uh, deer running around my property. I got noisy neighbors. They haven't plowed. The garbage that they haven't picked up. What are you going to do? We want to eliminate this person. Thank you so much. Thank you for all that you do for us because we are still out there fighting. And we're not going away. So when it puts that foundation down, we'll be out there too. Are we waiting for the judge's decision? Um, and I, I fully expect the judge to side with us because the law is clear. And for the court counsel, again, who basically the first time around said the law is not with us. For them to be so aggressive in fighting on our behalf, they believe strongly that the law is on us. What will he uh, Anything from tiny mice to small rabbits. Uh, tiny mice to small rabbits? Yeah, even though we never really look like it.